what's up everybody this is Chris and of course this is my channel barn on 11970 thank you for taking the time to check out my video all right guys I actually can say I am pleasantly surprised at the events of the turnaround in the gold and silver today um, I actually thought that considering how much it went down on Sunday night when the Asian market opened I really thought when the uh, US market opened earlier this morning we would see a continued downtrend and as you could see even earlier before the US market opened uh, there was some pretty decent moves in the gold and silver market. Um, you're seeing right now gold roughly up, up roughly about $45 at over $1,200. So whether it could stay there or not, I guess we'll have to see. Um, just think about silver, how it went below $1,450 just a day and a half ago, uh, less than a day ago, and now it's up to $1,650. Uh, that's a pretty big move for silver. Uh, platinum is up $41 and palladium right now is pretty much even, but still over 800 at 809 right now. Um, this could be a, what they call a dead cat bounce. Um, I guess we'll have to wait and see, but I mean, this could also show if it continues this trend and the, they hold these, uh, 1200 for gold and they hold over $16 uh, dollars for silver. It could be that people saw the Sunday night um, hammer down of the precious metals as a buying opportunity, which means there are smart people out there that have been following this gold referendum in Switzerland, pretty much knew it was going to happen. They hammered the price down so people could make some purchases, and it looks like they did. So have we hit rock bottom? I mean, this day and age, it's kind of hard to tell at this point. Um I would love for it to go down a little bit more so I could make one more purchase. Uh, for me, I don't mind the fact that I missed the opportunity last night because basically those of you who've been watching my channel know I've been stacking since 2006. So I'm not worried about missing an opportunity here um, when I've had several opportunities in the past and have a decent amount to where I'm not worried. Um, also, people had questions, uh, some new people that are starting to get into precious metals, and they ask basically how much gold and silver is enough. Well, I mean, I guess it's like anything, you know, how many dollars is enough in your bank account? Uh, how much gas in your car is enough? The more, the better. But I would honestly say, in my opinion, to be decently well off at the bare minimum, I think you would need at least 100 ounces of silver and at least three to five ounces of gold, I think would be the bare minimum. But obviously, if you have one silver dime, that's better than none. So I know some people say, oh, well, you know, I don't have a lot of money to stack. Well, right there, if you buy one silver dime, it's going to cost you, what, $3, maybe $4. So if you accumulate while the prices are still being manipulated, you could accumulate as much as you can at cheaper prices. And every now and then, instead of buying a pack of cigarettes, instead of buying a case of beer, instead of going to a strip club or the movies, put some money aside and each month maybe buy one silver round, one ounce round or one ounce silver bar. Because at these cheaper prices, it definitely makes it a little bit easier. Because I'm sure a silver bar right now is going to go for about $17, $18, which is not out of the price range of the average person. So don't worry about having to say, oh, I need 500 ounces right this second. Take advantage of the fact that they are manipulating the paper prices and they are allowing the people at top to take advantage, but also the people at the bottom to take advantage because even though it's the paper price that's being affected, obviously you could see it does affect the physical price. And since that's not going to stay like that forever, we're going to look back at this and we're going to wish we could have these opportunities again. And one day they will not exist. So. If you have to get one silver dime, one silver quarter, a silver half dollar, a silver um, proof set, you know, anything is better than nothing. But you can't say you can't afford it because if you can't afford $3 for a silver dime, then you have a lot more to worry about than stacking silver. So don't always go by half these videos you see out there where they're showing, you know, 5,000 ounce, 5, ounces of silver, 1,000 ounces of gold and all these other videos. You stack what you can and just do a little bit at a time if you have to. When I was at my, when gold was around $1,900 an ounce, I couldn't afford to buy it. So what I was doing is I was accumulating at grams at a time. Now, if you get 31 grams, well, I think it's 31 and a half, it equals an ounce of gold. So if you can only afford a gram of gold at these discounted prices, even with this rise in the gold and silver today, you can accumulate 
and add a little bit. And after a while, you get more and more. I mean, I remember back in 2006 when I was buying grams of gold for $25 a piece, and I was buying gold for $580 to $650 an ounce. So those days might be long gone. If they come back, I guarantee you, you're going to see those prices not there for long because as you could see what happened last night, and I'm actually surprised by it, the price shot up. Now, whether it stays that way or not remains to be seen. We'll see if this is a dead cat bounce or not. Um, if you miss the opportunity, you know, sometimes, like I say, you got to trust your instincts. So if you have to pay a dollar more, you know, sometimes that's the price to pay. Or if you feel like somebody like me that feels they could wait it out to see if there is another dip, just wait for that opportunity. Trust your own instincts. Don't base it on what anybody else says. Um, take responsibility for what you do and what you don't do. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave your comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not part of the Barna Nation. Please post these videos on your social networks. It helps spread this information. Um, you guys have been helping me get a lot of subscribers. I mean, I'm almost up to 10,500 subscribers already. And less than a week ago, I was only at 10,000. So another 500 in the span of a week is amazing for somebody that's just a regular Joe Schmo like me. So thank you for watching. And don't forget to have your trolls spayed or neutered. Peace.